Welcome back to the show, economist David Bonson. David, what Nancy just said, this is a reversal of what happened with under former President Trump's years. I mean, blue collar middle class workers incomes were going up. Inflation was going down. Right, David. So we're in reverse. I mean, and now Trump has an economic record to run on. Biden has a very poor economic record to run on. What do you think, David? Well, unfortunately, Liz, I'm a movement conservative, and I agree uh, entirely with the philosophy behind much of Trump's economic administration, lower tax rates. I definitely love the real wages that were rising for lower income workers. But I think both administrations spent like drunken sailors. They grew government, grew spending immensely. And that's really the fundamental issue we face is $31 trillion of national debt and, and the growth that takes away from the future. We put downward pressure on growth because of the crowding out of the private sector by an increased cost of government. And I think that both Democrat and Republican presidents for 20 years have been responsible for yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's a well taken point. We want to get to this soundbite from the president today. Let's get your reaction to what he's saying. Watch this. This is becoming an issue in other countries. What's the United States going to do? Are they really fooling around with not paying their debts? The last thing this country needs after all we've been through, is a manufactured crisis. MAGA Republicans in Congress are threatening to undo all this progress by letting us, quote, default on the debt unless we agree to their demands. You know, nobody takes this seriously anymore, David, this MAGA attack. Um, it's really incompetent. And, you know, David, that's what the critics are saying of the White House. Senator Joe Manchin is ripping into this White House, saying it's dysfunctional. What do you think of this, David? Final word. Look, um, if Speaker McCarthy had not passed an increase in the debt ceiling with the spending cuts, then I would say, OK, I guess the House is trying to cause this debt issue. The, the GOP House is. But they passed it. Okay. So it's now on the Biden administration to negotiate. If, in fact, they get up to the debt ceiling when the House Republicans have passed an alternative, that can hardly be blamed on MAGA Republicans. Got it. It's obviously political nonsense. The there you go. David Bonson, thanks for joining us. Have a good weekend. 